The Greater Good Science Center presents Half Full, Social Science for Raising Happy Kids, a discussion series between Dr. Christine Carter and Kelly Corrigan. There is one thing that sociologists, psychologists, anthropologists, pediatricians, nutritionists, linguists all do research on, and that me. is kids who eat dinner with their family and the benefits of that. Ooh, why the face? Well, first of all, we never eat dinner together as a family because my husband commutes. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get home until way after the kids need to eat dinner. And mm -hmm. then I don't like to eat what they eat, so I don't sit down with them. So mm -hmm. It's more like a diner where I serve them at the counter and... I'm proud of myself if it's over in five minutes. <laughs> okay. Well, so uh, what do so the linguists say about that? <laughs> there's some work to be done. I think actually it's very common for Americans to eat that way. The kids eat, eat one meal. They yes. eat something, or they eat in the car while they're driving to soccer or whatever. But let me tell you something. The kids that eat um, dinner together with their families five nights a week or more, they get better grades. They're much less likely to abuse alcohol and drugs. They're less likely to be obese or to develop a... Um, an eating disorder, they're more emotionally stable, they have fewer depressive symptoms. How? What, what is happening at family dinner that, that is protecting them from all these horrible ills yeah. and, and promoting all these wonderful benefits? Okay, well let's talk a little bit about why dinner time is so powerful. You're modeling a lot of behaviors. You're modeling eating behaviors, and um, manners, which are actually probably mm -hmm. a lot more important than we think because mm -hmm. you, know, you think it's just manners maybe, but when you say, when you give the best piece of cake to the guests, you're teaching generosity. So that's really... And when Claire teaches Georgia how to fart with her armpit, we are learning... Yeah, you're really not learning a lot. So yes. if you're not sitting down with the kids, um, they're learning from each other and you're not getting that great modeling. So one of the things that you're really modeling are social and emotional skills, which includes language. So there's this really great study that a group of researchers from the Harvard Ed School did and they were trying to understand better how um, little kids pick up uh, literacy skills, how they pick up rare words. So, so I'm assuming they get it from their parents reading to them? This is really interesting. So they're tracking about 2,000 rare words and the kids learned about 143 from um, the parents reading to them. They learned a thousand of those words at the dinner table. Okay. So, so poor children. <laughs> no, they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. You're going to start eating, sitting down with them. Yeah. You know, kids also really learn to eat new foods from um, watching other people eat them. Another really great thing about dinner time is that kids learn a lot about their family history. Um, and so I have heard this that there's this huge correlation between kids who know a lot of family lore yeah. and kids who report having a happy childhood. Yes. Kids who know more about their family history or their family lore, as, right. uh, as you would put right. it, um, their families are more connected and they're higher functioning. All together. that in an hour? You can get all oh that? Oh my gosh, an hour, 20 minutes. You don't, you don't even have Ooh. to do it. It's starting to sound a little bit more doable. Does it have to be dinner? Um, no, it doesn't. It's just, I, I think it's just a meal time. You and does to... my husband have to be there? No, I don't think so. I think that... Ah, uh, single parents rejoice. Yes, yeah. I think single parents, I know the research shows that single parents reap the same benefits from family dinner times as, as um Okay, so it's, so it's five meals a week. It yeah. doesn't have to be dinner. You can do it as a single parent. Right. You got to sit down with them. Right. You got to eat with them. Right. Join us next time on Half Full, Science for Raising Happy Kids, when we discuss how family mealtime rituals influence childhood happiness.